Hey, this is Brad with 40 Tech. Follow along as we install one of our 30 minute auto engine idle shutdown eliminators in the 21 and newer style F-150. This applies to all the trim levels, including the Raptor. As you'll see right now, we're looking at the pocket area above the screen in the vehicle. First, we'll remove any rubber mat. It might look a little different if you don't have the B&O center speaker, but the install is still the same. Next, we're gonna pop up this speaker grill using a plastic dash removal tool. Just get under the edge, start peeling it up. Releasing all the clips as we go. As you can see, there's eight clips in the back of this. Next, we're gonna remove the two seven millimeter screws. Next, we're going to peel the top edge of the trim away. It does not need to be fully removed. Just peel back a little bit. Let's get our fingers under the edge and pull it back. This will allow the front edge of this to lift up and out. Now we'll use our hands and you can also use a plastic dash removal tool if you need to to help. We're just going to start peeling it up, popping all the clips that secure it in place. In this case, because we do have a speaker, we'll need to disconnect the electrical connector right here. There's a little tab that's facing me. We're gonna push that with our thumb and then pull the connector down to release it. We'll set this out of the way. We can just tuck this cable out of the way for now. Next, we're gonna remove the four seven millimeter screws that hold the top radio bracket in place. <laughs> Set this bracket aside. The harness we need to plug into is right here. Uh, it's the uh, large 32 pin connector that's all the way towards the driver's side. You can disconnect that and install the um, shutdown eliminator uh, without removing the audio control module, the radio here. We're going to go ahead and show you how to remove this to make it even easier. There are four seven millimeter screws that secure the radio itself. Now that all the screws have been removed, we can simply lift up the radio tuner. And on the back side, you'll see there are many connectors. This black one on the far left here towards the driver's side, we'll need to release. There is a tab on the top of the connector. We obviously have it upside down right now, but we're gonna depress that with our finger and pull the connector out. For a better view of that tab, you'll see it right here where my fingernail is. We'll simply take the shutdown eliminator from 40 Tech. We're going to plug it into the radio, plug the factory harness into the eliminator, and put everything back where we found it. Next, we'll start putting the four seven millimeter screws back in. Next, we'll place the top bracket back in place here. And we'll replace the four seven millimeter screws that secure that. Now that that's secure, we can replace the top panel here. Again, remembering to plug the speaker back in if your vehicle has one. Make sure it clicks back into place. We'll set this trim panel back in. Make sure we're snapping in all eight of the clips. Then we can press this back into place. We're gonna replace the two seven millimeter screws that are securing this.
You can obviously do all this with hand tools. I'm just using power tools for the sake of speeding up this video. We'll now replace this top cover, making sure to snap all these back in and replace the tray mat. Now that the install is complete, we'll go ahead and turn the ignition on. Under the settings menu, we'll select vehicle and we will turn off the 30 minute max idle setting. Now, every time you get into the vehicle, it'll simply remember that and reapply that setting. Now you see how easy it is to install one of our 30 minute automatic engine idle shutdown eliminators from 40 Tech. I'm Brad, thanks for checking out our video.